You may have read how many snotty-nosed columnists across the nation are being forced to quit their jobs for the crime of quoting people who don't really exist, people they just made up. You know the routine. Joe the cab driver, Willie the wino, and other gritty blue-collar archetypes concocted by white-collar writers to speak larger truths about the municipal, if not human, condition. Or so they say. I don't buy it. It's not just that these writers, deservedly self-loathing members of the effete elite, are plain lazy, though there is that. It's more that they've allowed themselves to be seduced by all the swaggering stereotypes permeating the news columnists mystique, and trying desperately to measure up will do anything to bestow upon themselves some small modicum of that butt-on-the-bar-stool masculine authority. Notice I didn't say we. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm superior to these guys, just a whole lot better. Thank mm-hmm. you.